My name is Santiago Jaramillo. I'm from Colombia and I am the producer for FIFA 13. We're showing our biggest gameplay features so far, so it's an early build uh, here at E3. And those features include things like first touch control, which is a very intelligent, sophisticated contextual error system for trapping so that players are no longer going to just control the ball perfectly all the time when they're for the first time bringing the ball down. Uh, it's going to add a lot of variety uh, to our game. We also have complete dribbling, which is a feature that's going to allow users to get a lot more creative on the ball. It's going to allow users to basically you know, face off defenders and dribble in one direction while facing the goal. Uh, and complete 360 degree uh, mobility when it comes to that. So that's really cool. It's just going to get really creative. Uh, we're also doing a lot of improvements to the player impact engine that we introduced last year uh, in order to then leverage the physicality of the game with game-changing features. And you know, finally, we also have uh, free kicks. So we're doing what we're calling tactical free kicks. So now you have a lot more tools in attack to bring more players into the equation, um, run over the ball with a couple of them if you want. And then on the defensive side of things, you can add and remove players to the wall. You can do just lots of cool things on defense to kind of play that cat and mouse game uh, that we wanted to create in set pieces. And you know, on top of that, we're also discussing what we're announcing here uh, for ESports Football Club, which is the introduction of the ESports Football Club catalog. So that now, as you're part of the ESports Football Club community playing FIFA 13, you'll be able to, re to get points as you play and redeem those points for you know, merchandise in the game, like historic kits or career mode specific stuff or online specific stuff and really enrich your experience as you, as you play FIFA. Before you actually dribble the ball, you have to bring it under control. And it's only that part that first touch control is about. So what it's about is analyzing the context of the situation. So for example, you're a player with a certain attribute um, and we will then determine, okay, how difficult is it to control this ball contextually? So is the ball coming from really high up? Is it coming really fast? Are you running really fast? Are you a good player or a bad player? Are you off balance or unbalanced? So all these different things come into play to then determine how difficult of a context is it. And then that means that sometimes you won't be able to just bring it down right away and kill the ball. You will have to have a heavier touch and maybe take it again and slow yourself down a little bit. And basically it's not gonna be perfect all the time, which is what actually happens in real football. So it's not gonna get the game more difficult because it applies to both teams in the right situations. So, but it will force you to think as a footballer a lot more than a previous FIFA. Fatigue is one, of the, is one of the factors, not for first touch control, but is one of the factors, for example, in our attacking AI improvements. So we've made a lot of improvements there to make players more intelligent when they go on runs, when you have the ball. But if you have a player that's really tired, he's gonna be less likely to make that extra effort uh, to get to the place that he's supposed to get to. Yeah, we're doing a little bit with Connect as well. Uh, we wanted to you know, think, okay, where can we use this technology now in FIFA 13? And what we came up with is, well, people really wanna bypass all the menus and all that flow of doing team management where you're in game. And so to do that, you can now use voice commands to call substitutions, make formation changes, and make tactical changes as well. So you could, for example, you know, we haven't finished it yet, but one idea is you could say uh, substitute uh, player 10 for player eight who's on the bench, say. So player eight will come out, start warming up, and then make the substitution, and you never have to leave gameplay. Sub striker, sub three, sub three. You can even change tactics and formation on the fly while never stopping play or going to a menu. Formation one. So FIFA 13 is expected to, to come out you know, end of September, beginning of October, depending on where you live. And it's coming out in basically you know, every platform, PC, uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. Uh, we have Vita, we have you know, all these different uh, platforms that we release on mobile. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah.